Right, so we complete our daily workout. What we're going to get? Oh, it's a Mercedes. What's it? It's a SLS AMG. Awesome. Right, so we get another Group 4 car. We can test out around that Dragon Trail Seaside Circuit. And we got to the 156.950 to beat that we just set in the Mustang. So can we do any better in the Mercedes? Uh, we're going to just turn all the assists off and we're going to just give it a go. You never know, it might be quicker. So let's get straight into it, guys. Right, so here we are in the Mercedes-Benz. We're going to probably uh, do this uh, time trial in uh, cockpit view again because I keep getting asked to do more races in cockpit view. But we will just quickly scroll through the different views to give you a look of the car. Uh, it's a, just a standard Mercedes-Benz. I'm not sure whether this is a very quick one. Uh, it's only a Group 4 car, so it's still going to be around the same speed as the Mustang and the Sirocco. But is it going to handle any better? That's what we're going to find out. So let's see if we can get a nice long down here slow it down see what it's like with no traction control on we turn that off that's not bad through there just gently put my foot down because I'm using a uh, Thrustmaster T300 RS steering wheel and I'm just going to try and push this car as much as I can and try not to lose the back end hold fifth gear through there we did that in the Mustang that seems to work well for us slow it down get a nice line get a little bit of curb oh it doesn't feel too bad with the bit of curb you can really feel it but it's not throwing the car out out and we don't lose too much speed and let's just try and get a good line through here and see if we can get a nice speed we've got a whole hug the curb there drop it down a gear and drive it up the hill in fourth change to fifth uh, it, it feels pretty smooth guys this car probably won't need too much adjustment actually it feels okay right to get a nice line down this section and drive it now this is the corner that seems to get me every time in every single vehicle I've tried out you've got to get it really really spot on slow it down get a nice tight line and try and accelerate without losing the back end of the car and um, we didn't do too bad there I'm not sure whether this is going to be quicker than what we did in the Mustang but uh, we may go another lap if we don't beat the time uh, or if we get nowhere near it then we, we've just got to give up but uh, we will see right get a nice bit of curb there yeah it does seem to handle quite well through there so uh, this is this is actually feeling quite promising. Is this going to be faster than the Mustang and beat my time again? Uh, I seem to be getting quicker and quicker. Maybe I'm just getting used to the circuit as well and I'm getting more into the game. But um, this game does feel very good, even on the controller. I did give it a go the other days, guys. And if you haven't got a steering wheel, don't worry, because this game is set up for both. It really does feel pretty good on the controller as well. As well. Right, is this going to beat my time over the line? Oh, it was not a bad time. So we go. 157 but uh, that's still not faster than our 156.950 so we'll go another lap and see if we can improve on that as this is a first experience in the Mercedes right we held it through third, third gear through there try and control the back end I can feel it sliding a lot it is it is giving up uh, on me a little bit but um, I'm managing to count steer with the steering wheels which is good I'm managing just to hold on to the car and slow it down just dabbing that brake right be careful don't lose the back end slowly accelerate that's not bad that was quite smooth through there is this going to be faster at this split point no slightly down on the time so it looks like this lap isn't going to be quicker than the previous lap unless we really go for it in this last few sections of this lap let's try and hold a nice tight line through here grabbing a bit more curb and again a bit more curb here try and hold the speed and accelerate and that's really good there we didn't touch that curb there so we managed to get a good fast drive down the hill try and get up to at least 140 can we yes we managed to get up to about 140 but we really got to slow it down don't lose it don't lose it oh my god i thought it was going to go into there and lose the back end but managed to control it right that was nice and smooth through there and we're up on the time so this could be our fastest lap time here so this would be awesome right let's get a nice fast line through here just grabbing some more curb and again fast through there hold the speed and this feels pretty quick guys we could beat our time here uh, we need to beat it by another half a second to beat the time are we going to be able to do it right we've got to get a nice fast turn into this right hand turn try and keep it nice and smooth hold it and accelerate that didn't feel too bad we managed to control the back end of the car and try and accelerate to the line is this going to be our fastest lap time it's going to be close and oh my god we smashed it there you go we get a 156 point 
two, seven, one. Oh, that is awesome. That Mercedes really does handle really, really well, guys. I'm going to leave you a full replay, and I will see you soon for some more car, car trials here on this channel.